a very important initiative that you're running here, but just bring us up to breast with, uh, you know, what exactly uh, this initiative is all about and uh, what, what was the cause and what actually motivated the startup of this campaign. Yeah. So uh, the startup of this campaign started actually in, in 2022 20, uh, because right. we realized every time we as Namibians go to the coast on a December holiday mm -hmm. Or even on Easter, we realize, you know, we leave the beach so dirty and yeah. it's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. And yeah, complaining, it's not going to solve the problem. Right. So we had to come up with an idea as a company saying, we, we live in, the, in Namibia, we have to make Namibia better for the next generation. Mm -hmm. So how can we do it? So in, in 2023, February, we yeah. started up um, the coastal project. Mm -hmm. So we pick up rubbish on a weekly basis. We pick up roughly uh, 300 kg kilograms of rubbish wow. on a very small stretch mm -hmm. um, and that makes a big impact on the long run. Mm -hmm. And then we realized last year after December holiday and big festivals being hosted, mm -hmm. it was everywhere on the social media that you know, the beach is really clean, dirty and we went in mm -hmm. and we picked up the rubbish mm -hmm. and we thought, okay, could be a good idea to say let's start a cleanup campaign for this year mm -hmm. and hoping that we could make a massive difference and say okay we will uh, put up a date and people can sign up online on, on Instagram yep. companies can invite one another to come and join this cleanup campaign mm -hmm. and we just clean up for that day and you come and weigh in your rubbish mm -hmm. for the day. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Again, talking about what, what caused this, the, the beaches uh, to be quite dirty. Again, it's, 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 the, it's December holidays. Everybody wants to go out to the, co to the coast and have fun. And, uh, you know, this, how did you decide that actually, you know, December is the right time for, for running this campaign? Because everybody's on holiday mm -hmm. in December and we forget about the environment and on our holiday season. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we all go for a rest and we all go and celebrate and enjoy ourselves. Mm -hmm. But it's time that we as Namibians and everybody visiting the coast, it's time to clean up also. Yeah. Just to, it's a feel good. Let's, you know, and we pick a specific date so that we can give back a really good new year resolution for our own country. Mm. Now, which coastlines are you targeting, especially you mentioned that you had a small stretch that you uh, began cleaning uh, in 2022, like you mentioned earlier. Uh, which stretches are you targeting now and which ones have you actually been operating and which ones are you choosing again uh, for this year? So for the ongoing cleanup, we'll, um, on a weekly basis that the Nipusi Coastal Project is mm -hmm. doing is from Sandwich Harbour all the way to um, Skeleton Coast. It's a long stretch. It's a long stretch. Yeah. We drive all the way, we camp on, on the way, and mm. we pick up on both sides of the road, and we take, a, take the rubbish back on a, on a weekly basis, depending mm. on how far we are yeah. from Rent a Drum in Wolfersby. Um, but this cleanup campaign will be from um, Long Beach, from the tidal pools. Yeah. So you can register and you get your, you can buy a t-shirt, you can uh, go onto the app and then from there on, you pick up rubbish as far as you can. Wow. So hopefully we can get a lot of Namibians to join yeah. that if we, you come back and you weigh in, that we have a bigger area covered on both sides of the road, mm -hmm. that it's not just on the coastline. And we mainly focused it now on the coastline, but hoping these people, you know, in Rundu mm. that didn't make it to the coast this holiday or in uh, Epikuro, Khubabas, yeah. you know, wherever, yeah. to join, sign up, but you just do it on a different location, that this is an initi initiative to just start that you can do something different in your community. Mm. And again, going back to 2022, uh, how big was the number of people who actually you know, started working on this? Because I know it's very difficult to get people on board, uh, especially to convince them to come and support. How, how was it like, you know, starting back then in 2022 and compared to now? And now perhaps what, what are you looking forward to in terms of the turnout? So we started with just employees of Nakusi. Right. We were around about five to six people. Oh. And uh, on a weekly basis, our numbers would go up to 10 mm -hmm. per week. Mm -hmm. So it's not a big number. This is the first year that we're actually putting the challenge out to Namibians yes. and to everybody, to the public, going for holiday. 
to join and do good for that day. Absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot that needs to you know, go into convincing people as to why this is very important. We know of how much, how much we depend on the ocean, how much it actually gives back to us, but then we forget how much we actually waste on it. Just remind the millions who are watching right now how important really this is and why it's important to take care of our ocean and our beaches especially. So if we look at global warming now, mm -hmm. Namibia has been affected tremendously. We don't have rain. We have um, droughts that's hitting areas that are crucial for survival. Mm. Our ocean is one of the most delicate environments in our country, mm. um, sensitive areas. And everybody is using it either for entertainment, for tourism, for income, uh, for food. Yes. And uh, if we don't look after our environment on the coastline, we will have the effect again into Namibia. Yeah. And we praise ourselves as being one of the cleanest countries in Africa. Mm -hmm. um, but you tip the scale quite quickly if we don't start looking at individual people, yeah. not tourism sector, not government, you as a person that lives in this country to mm. make our country better. And it's time that we actually take ownership for it. Absolutely. It's going to be taking place on the 29th of December, a very crucial time because it's just close to the New Year's. And it's also a time that's, uh, that where a lot of uh, events and festivals mm. take place in the coast. Uh, what is in it for the participants who want to really come on board uh, and you know, take part in this? And not only for the gifts, obviously, but also just to know why uh, it is really good to do uh, this practice. Yeah. So we've had the question of saying, but what about the, you know, the 20th or the 31st, mm -hmm. a new year? Why yeah. don't you do it then? Uh, we specifically do it before New Year so that people hopefully get a little ignition and say, OK, yeah. you know, I, I did it on the 29th. Um, we'll do it all the way through the holidays. Yep. But for this specific event, there will be a lot of prizes. So if they uh, sign up, um, they can go on to uh, the platforms and the social media platforms. Right. It will be on the radios. There will be banners out. You can win nice prizes of weekends away, mm. um, you know, coffees, meals, um, boat cruises. So everybody in the Swakop environment and in the tourism um, sector has come aboard, on board to actually give prizes away. Exactly. But it shouldn't be for the prize. It shouldn't be for the prizes it, at all. It should all, be yeah. like a good, a good feeling. I gave back. I picked up my rubbish. Mm -hmm. And remember, there's a lot of animals that are dying that True. we don't know about. True. In the sea, bird life. Um, there's a lot of animals that actually has to survive with our rubbish that we are causing ourselves. Yeah, I, visit, I got a chance to visit the uh, UNAM campus of fisheries, um, fisheries resources uh, uh, students who were, you know, enlightening us about, you know, the life on the beach, not in the ocean, but just the beach where the sand actually is, that there is a lot of life that actually lives under the small, tiny sand that we actually see. Mm -hmm. Also just emphasizing why it's important to, to, to you know, take care of what is actually on the beaches and not only necessarily in the ocean because you're probably going to be like, oh no, I'm not going to litter in the ocean, but rather here. Yeah. But yes. just how important it is that we have life uh, that, you know, serves us. And these are resources that actually give back to us in terms of medicine and all that. So going into, you know, how, how one can spread the word, how what, social media, of course, is one of the strongest platforms, but how is Nankuse uh, going to, you know, spread this word out more, um, especially um, in public as well, to make sure that this actually is well taken care of and that people actually get to participate? So it is on social media mm -hmm. and we will put it on the radios. We will, like NBC and now, um, I mean, for hosting this is amazing. Thank you very much. Yeah. And then word of mouth, mm -hmm. um, bring your family, bring your friends, bring your children, um, go out for a nice day out on the beach and, and start cleaning up. So come and join us. I want to put this out to the public and say, please come and join us. Let's make Namibia an, a, a better day for Namibia and give back to our country. Absolutely. Who are some of the sponsors on board for this project? I know that uh, it was just started. It's still fairly new, but already we, there has traction are built on the sponsors front. Who are some of the people on board? So we've got some media companies that's involved now. Mm -hmm. We have uh, two beers that's sponsoring coffee. Uh, we've got uh, some of the cruise 
um, companies on the beach that or on the coastline that's giving um, sponsors away. Yeah. We've got rent a drum, um, plastic packaging that's nice. involved. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of different sponsors, and I hope they are even and even um, Namibia embroidery so mm -hmm. they gave t-shirts and caps nice. so hopefully there's people that's going to come in and say listen we'll sponsor some cool drinks and some water um, but yeah, yeah every little bit helps but the, the outcome of this is we need numbers mm -hmm. um, it would be amazing to see Namibia get together and we look like ants yeah. over the dunes and yeah. on the beach and While just serving a up. very good purpose a very good purpose yeah. it's one day that we just get together and say thank you to our country. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, going to uh, the, the cleanup campaign, you know, how many, um, how many years do you hope that this can go on? What's the plan for the future in terms of uh, making sure that this cleanup campaign only doesn't happen once, but also continues uh, in the years to come and also just for generations perhaps? Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe we can hopefully do this as and say this is a national day, a yeah. cleanup campaign national day for the country. Mm -hmm. And that's starts doing annually, maybe, maybe every month we can do it. Um, this is the start off, and hopefully this specific day becomes a national day in our country. Hopefully. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> well, last, lastly, just before we let you go, uh, Marilise, you, you of course mentioned that people can sign up, but they can find you on social media. What is the, the handles that they can find uh, for them to be part of this very important uh, event? So you can go on our website. It's www.nakuse. It's mm -hmm. N-A-A-N-K-U-S-E dot mm -hmm. com. And on the website, you will get in the lock-in and you can go to social media. There's hashta hashtags where you can go. Mm -hmm. um, and we will put it also on social media that you can just log in on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. 